Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Janelle if you're new here. And if you are not new and coming back for another video, thank you for coming back. And this week I want to share with you guys three things that I never wish I bought when I was pregnant or I guess like a little bit after. And I shared a few of these already on my TikTok and they did fairly well. So I thought people have got to want to know on YouTube or something like that in a little more in depth of why I didn't, why I shouldn't have bought these items or maybe why I feel this not good for me. And I just think it will help other people because like baby stuff is so expensive that you can easily waste a lot of money on buying all these like gadgets and things that you really don't need in the end. So today I'm just going to share three quick items here that I really wish I didn't buy because either I wish I bought like a different version of it or I just wish I didn't buy it in general. So let's get started. The first item I'm going to talk about is my breast pump. So I have to first say I do love this brand, Medela. I do love them. They are fantastic. They have the best pumps. But I really wish I didn't buy the one that I did. So I bought this one. It's like, I don't know the exact model. Oh, Santana breast pump. So the reason why I wish I didn't buy this item is that it's just so big. And the brand actually has a lot of versions of smaller breast pumps that are more portable things like that and originally we were going to plan on going on a trip when ev was a few months old but obviously with everything going on we have not gone on a trip but saying that like if i needed to bring my breast pump this thing is so crazy to bring it's so big it's like it's not heavy but it's it's a lot and i find even when I was first learning to breast pump and I had her and she was really little, I was trying to pump and take care of her and trying to carry this around and then her, it just, it was a lot. So I think if you were going to do it, it's a lot better having just one of those like travel ones when it's a lot easier to carry around in my opinion. And also why I bought this one is it connects to the app and it will like track all, um, I guess like how much milk you pumped and things like that. And really in the end, I personally didn't, think that was necessary. I didn't need any of that. Um, I've never once used the app for that. So it was kind of a waste of money. And I do wish I spent my money on maybe one that was smaller and not like all the small little gadgets that they kind of get you on thinking like, oh, I'm going to record on the app. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But honestly, in the end, you really don't have time. You just want to pump. You, you just want to get it all done with because there's so many billion of things you got to do in the day with a baby. So that is the first item is my breast pump. But like I said, the brand is fantastic. It's just this model did not really work out for me. The second item that I'm going to talk about is a product that I've actually seen other moms talk about as well. If you follow Joelle, she did a similar video like this as well, products that I shouldn't buy. And she talks about this item as well. And it is the Snuggle Me. And while it is like it is really comfy and we it did help us like a little bit at the beginning. I feel like they really get you on the gimmick of it. They're like, it is fantastic. It'll always make your baby sleep. And like, it just gives you this idea because so many people and moms talk about, it, especially on Instagram, that you feel like you need it. And yeah, it makes like cute photos and like a Moses basket and all that. But for the price tag that it is, it's a lot of money for what it is because it is not safe uh safe sleep or whatever it safe just you know what i'm talking about it's not safe for your baby to sleep in so like unattended overnight but it did help like i said at the beginning for a few naps here and there to have her just like kind of snuggled in when she was really little but you can really get the same effect if you just roll up a bunch of blankets and kind of tuck it in the side so don't spend too much money on it. I found this second hand and it ended up being from one of my brother's co-workers, funny enough. So I picked it up from them for quite less than the actual retail cost. I think it was $100 for it and it came with the cover. So maybe look for a second hand one if you are looking to try it out or borrow one from a friend to see. Um, I know if you're on mom Facebook groups, there's a lot of great moms out there who will even lend you items in your community just to see try it out before you go and buy it so that might be a suggestion as well just before you go spend like i think it's like 250 something i'll put the price somewhere around here but it's a lot for what it is and you could definitely make do without it it really wasn't a lifesaver product that i thought it was going to be 
Last but not least, the third item I'm going to talk about is this foam pad. And this is the one I talked about on my TikTok. And I bought this when I was first got pregnant, but then I really wasn't thinking like how the material that it is. It's just like um like a foam pad, whatever. But your little one obviously is going to go to the bathroom outside of their diaper and get you sometimes. Like I've had explosive gone off on me all over this. I've had her start peeing. Like we all know it's gonna happen. They're her babies. But the problem with this is you can't just wipe it down. So you have to get like sanitized wipe, put that on. I do the Febreze spray that kills like 99.9% .9 of germs. And it's just more of a pain where if you buy one of those change pads that have, that are not like this material that are just like simple wipe down, I think it's gonna be a lot easier for you. You're not gonna have to worry about anything staining it. Um, and before I get called out, because people did call me out on TikTok, this, I do have a cover for it. I don't just put her on the foam pad, guys. There are covers that I have, but you gotta think, the cover is just like a blanket material. If she pees on that, it's gonna go right through to this. So it's the same thing in the end. So sometimes I just lay a blanket over it as a cover, just in the meantime while things are being washed. But this is definitely an item I wish, because you definitely need a change pad, but I wish I didn't buy this version of it because I don't know why, I just wasn't thinking. Like, it's just not logical. Why? Why why would I buy this when they just it's gonna leak through and I don't know. Not my brightest move, I'll tell you that. Well those were the three items that I wish I never bought or wish I bought like a different version of. But the only other tip I can tell you guys when if you are a new mom and looking to buy items is don't buy too many of one thing. So for example, bottles or soothers, things like that, because not all babies take soothers or take a certain bottle. So if you buy a whole bunch of one thing, you might be wasting your money or even your friend's money if they're buying you all the gifts. So really wait and kind of see, like buy maybe one or two and see how your baby likes those items before you go and spend a lot more money on them. That is today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you are a mom or have any tips of items, yeah, of items that you wish you never bought, please put in the comments below so we can all learn from each other's mistakes because we all don't want to buy things that we're not going to use, right? Please make sure to give this video, I mean, it's right here, a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as we're back every week with more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Say bye. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's a chapa. That's when you know you watch too too much TikTok. Too much TikTok. Okay, <laughs> seriously. Bye guys.